So this is the comparison of the two blades on two different high profile popular clippers. And I made a review on both of these clippers and a lot of people asked me about the blades. So I'm gonna try to explain the blades in depth on this little video. So basically you have in traditional barbering, you have a fade blade, you have a taper blade. The Low Pro FX came out with a wedge blade, a wedge blade which was designed to run cool as its number one priority, at least from the box. Like this blade runs cool, it doesn't get hot, which it does a very good job at that. But as compared to traditional blades, it doesn't cut as good. Mainly, when I used both of them, the thing I noticed was the tactile feel that I got with the fade blade. I felt the hair being cut. You feel, uh, you feel like bogging slightly when the blade is going through the hair, and you can actually feel and hear the. With the wedge blade, I didn't get any any feedback from the clipper or the blade. So when I was cutting. It was kind of like I was just gliding over the hair, but it wasn't a good glide because I couldn't get a sense to how they were cutting. I personally happen to be a cheap person, so I've used the wedge blade for a long time because I didn't want to spend the money to change the blade. So I got a lot of reps in with it, and I know a lot of people were saying, change the blade instantly, and I didn't change the blade instantly just because I'm like, I don't want to change the blade on a brand new clipper. Some people do. Some people put master blades on, you know, babbler's clippers and do all this stuff. I'm not that deep into it. I just want to go to work. So, uh, neither here or there. So, I, I used a wedge blade for a long time. But when I got the fade blade, which was my first fade blade on the babbler's clippers, um, the Boost FX, first time I used their fade blade, I instantaneously knew that the fade blade was a better blade for me in my opinion for cutting hair and doing detail work and getting that feel of the blade when it's chopping through the hair I'm a long time masters user I was using masters in barber school 12 13 years ago quarter masters I tested the cordless masters for a year and a half before they came out so I am I love the master blade got a text message anyhow the master blade to me is the best blade ever. I don't know what you guys think. You comment below. But I did get a good feel of it like the Babbler's blade gave me that feeling of ch -ch 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 when I was going through the hair and the feedback of the hair. And so you could do detail work and know that you're cutting a little bits of hair and whatnot. And the waist blade is just, I don't know. I, it might be too thick. I don't really know why. It just doesn't make enough noise. It's a little bit too thick, maybe. It's not. It's probably the worst in taking out lines and your uh, and your fades, which is you know you can always use a trimmer. But by default, it's not a close cutting blade. Uh, it does good for bulk and it runs very cool. It does not get hot at all. But that's just my opinion. So if you're going to spend uh, the money and you're, you're going to switch the blade, just, you know, you're going to have to add that in the cost of the low pros. More than likely, you're probably going to switch the blade. It's not the greatest blade, probably the worst blade in the game as far as brand new clippers go that came out last year. Y'all take it easy. It's hot. I'm out. Deuces.